See all them. No, they ain't gonna win. Oh, now, now, yeah, now it's gonna mess them up. Look, they got another one. That's gonna mess them up. Hey, Rachel, I'm gonna need you to say go, but hold on. You can't do this over there, away from the equipment. Exactly. Do not let Brennan go past this. Yeah, the courts maybe. Now, we all know in tug of war, the strongest side's going to win, right? Yeah. I'm just letting y'all know, strongest side right here. Okay. Y'all just all eyes on us. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I don't know, they got some weight on them now. Y'all ready? Go. Go. Oh, they got you. They got you. They got you. They got you. Oh, they got you. So decent. They got you decent. No problem. I'm not wearing the right shoes. Of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> now, now, Pat, what happened? That's right. The grass, right? Pat, we walk, we work out all the time. How come they won? Uh, I think it's slippery. We <laughs> slip. <laughs> <laughs> now the stronger side won, right? All right, exactly. That's the whole object of tug of war. In tug of war, the stronger side will always win. I want to tell you about a side that I was struggling with all my life. And that was a life without Christ. Mm. <clears throat> about, I think it was about 2002. I was actually, I was coming back. I was real big into drugs, alcohol. I was going out clubbing seven days a week. I got hooked up with the wrong people in my life. And the thing is, is when you get hooked up with the wrong people, whoever's stronger is going to pull you. Mm. So that means if you're, if you're hanging out with a crowd, let's say, and that crowd is stronger than you in what you believe, the longer you hang with that crowd, what's going to happen? They're going to win. You're going to go their way, right? Uh-huh. And that's the same way it is in our lives now. However you're going to, whatever you're going to do in your life, the only thing I can tell you is this. When I was coming back in 2002, I was coming back from a club one night. The last thing that I expected to happen was a car was going to run me off the road. The truck was going to flip. My best friend was going to be killed. And then I'd be sentenced to prison. Now, I did... Was it? I was sentenced to 11 years prison, four years probation. Because I was with the wrong crowd. And the thing is, is y'all are at a good time in y'all's life to where you can make a decision to follow Christ and to impact the people that are around you. Amen. Because who you hang out with is going to be a big majority of where you're going to go in life. If you're going to be a champion, you want to hang out with champions. Amen. If you want to be a positive influence in your family, you want to hang out with people that are going to be positive. Because if not, you're going to hang out with the wrong people and they're going to pull you a way that you don't want to go. Amen. Because I didn't wake up that day and I wasn't expecting for an accident to happen. Let alone my best friend die. Mm. And now he's, he, he ain't coming back. Mm. Because we were in the wrong lifestyle and the wrong, hanging out with the wrong people. Who you hang with is going to be a big importance of where you're going to go. How many of y'all know what mom said? Birds of, a be uh, what is it? Birds of a feather flock together. Yeah. I'm telling you, y'all already, already know what mama used to say. Who you hang with, that's who you're going to become. Stop hanging out with him. It's going to happen. And the main thing is, is if you start hanging out with other people that think like you, that are going somewhere in life, that are actually trying to do something positive with their life, you're going to have a traumatic testimony at the end. Y'all, I know y'all like Tim Tebow. Amen. Woo, 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 woo. All right, he's a good football player. Amen. Don't get, he's a good, but, but 
besides he's a good football player, do you see how he carries himself? Amen. Did you know that he is still waiting for his wife? And we're talking about sexual. He's still a virgin. Uh, uh -huh. Now, I'm just saying, now just take his stature. He a NFL football player, husky guy, got it going on, but he still means his integrity. Uh, come on. You see what I'm saying? You can still maintain your integrity right where you at, regardless of what people are saying. Surround yourself with positive people. Like, keep coming to this and keep trying to get the kids to come and witness to them. And you're going to be amazed of how God's going to use you. Amen. Because Jesus really, really, he died on that cross for you and he loves you and he has a plan, he has a purpose for your life. The last thing you want to do is get hooked up on this side, the side that lost, Pat. We were supposed to win that. I even got the big guys and we still lost. But the thing is... <laughs> but the thing is, is this. That's, you want to surround yourself with strong people. And it doesn't matter how big somebody looks. It doesn't matter how strong they look. If you got enough people on the right side of you, pushing you and telling you to keep on going, your side's going to win. Amen. I don't care how big that guy is. I don't care how big the pressure gets. I don't care what they call you. Been through high school. I've, I've known what they do. Wanted to be Mr. Popular. Had a lot of friends there. And when I went to prison, guess where they went? I might have got a letter if I was lucky. But all them friends that I had in high school, they were gone. They just forgot about me. So the popularity means nothing. It really doesn't. What matters is what you stand for, what you believe. And if you believe in the truth, that's the thing that's going to carry you all the way to the end. Oh, amen. And that's what you want. You want to stand for what's right, and you want to stand for the integrity, regardless of what people say about you, regardless of the things that they might call you, regardless of how society might say it. If you do the right thing, you're going to get right results. Amen. Just like on a football team. You can come, you can be on the football team all you want. If you don't come to practice, you're going to sit right on the bench. Mm. And you're not going to know the plays. Mm. So there's a difference between just knowing it and actually living that thing out. Amen. And if you want a new life in Christ, it's there. All you got to do is cry out to Him and just say, Lord, I'm here. I want to be used. Regardless of what's going on at home, regardless of the kids, what they're saying about me, regardless of everything else, regardless of the peer pressure, regardless. I know if I hook up on the strong side. Yep. If I stay hooked up to people that are going somewhere in life, regardless of how big this is and how beautiful that, you know, whatever, we lost. <laughs> because the other side was stronger. And the right side is what is going to, what's always going to win. You will never go wrong when you choose Christ. Uh, never. Never. Because when I was in prison, there was only one, there was only a couple people, a handful of people that were there for me. But my mom and my dad and my family couldn't be there for me when I was in that cell all by myself. And I didn't know what to do with my life. I didn't even know if I was going to get out. Because people die in prison. You walk up, get shanked. Y'all don't know what that means. That means they get the knife out and they stab you. And it sounds scary. I see some of y'all feel it. <laughs> but it's the truth. Yeah, man. The choices you make right now is going to determine your destiny later. And right now, you're at a great, you're at a, such a great opportunity in high school to where you can make something of yourselves. You do not have to go through what I've been through, what Justin's been through, what Bracken's been through. You don't got to go there. You don't got to go down that road. You got a chance to make the right decisions right now. Mm, come on. Because my best friend Eric ain't never coming back. He's gone. And he's never, ever coming. There's nothing. I can't pray enough. I can't sit there and holler. And I can't do nothing. He is gone. You got one life to live. And you're welcome to spend it any way you want. But you only get to spend it once. Mm. And once you spend it, that's it. So I want to encourage you. Live your life to the fullest. Do what is right. Get Stay with this. Y'all get together and you stay together as a family. Because if y'all click up and you stay together as a family, that other side, I don't care how big they look, I don't care, whatever, you're stronger. Amen. Because when you got God Almighty on your side, that's the only person you need. Mm. 
I lost about 14 years of my life. And in a way, I think it was lost, but in another way, I actually gained. Amen. And the only reason why I gained is because I made a decision. And it's an everyday decision. So I want to encourage you. You have an opportunity tonight to make a decision to spend the rest of your life and to make that determination that, you know what, I don't want to go down. I sure enough don't want to be on that tug-of-war team that lost. I want to be on the team that's going to win. Amen. And you can have that opportunity tonight. Now, I want to ask you a question. If you died right now by a show of hands, how many of y'all know where you're going? That's what I love to see. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Good. All right, so you know without a shadow of a doubt, Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Savior. Amen. Everybody. Amen. Great. Does anybody need prayer? Come here, Jude. Come on. Does anybody else need some prayer?